In this scenario, we're looking for a smooth recording workflow, whether that be for writing and recording in the studio or for live performance doing things like live looping. And in most cases, I would assume you'd want to use physical controls for that, and so I'm using X controls with a launch control. And I just have some simple actions here that demonstrate how ClipX Pro can facilitate this sort of workflow. My first button will launch the selected clip slot, so it works just like the enter key on your keyboard. If the track is armed, this will commence recording into the slot, and pressing it again will stop recording and switch to playback. So that's useful, but if you're, you know, playing an instrument or doing something else to their hands, it could be difficult to do that second launch. And so my last two buttons are assigned to actions that make that a bit easier. They'll record for a fixed amount of time and then switch to playing back. All right, so for example, this will record for four bars. All right, and then next to that, I have a button that will toggle session record, and that allows for overdubbing. And then next to that, I have a button that will duplicate the selected clip slot. This way I can add layers via overdubbing. For navigation, I can navigate up and down with these buttons and right and left with these buttons. And notice as I'm navigating between tracks, the selected track will be armed. Now, of course, we could add additional functionality like undo and the ability to uh, duplicate scenes. But I wanted to keep things simple for this example to demonstrate how it's easy to accomplish a lot with ClipX Pro with very little. So let's give this setup a quick spin. I just want to mention that I'll be recording MIDI clips, but this works exactly the same for audio clips.